Hi guys, welcome to the Trangier Stove Burn Test, where I'm going to time how long it takes to boil two cups of water, which is about half a litre, um, 500 milligrams. I'm going to use the alcohol stove and then later compare it with the gas conversion kit so you can see how both work. So, first of all, let me set up the alcohol stove and we'll get to it. I will be using the kettle which holds 600 milliliters of water and once again we will be using about 500 milliliters so about two cups worth so I've got one cup here and I'm just going to be using tap water which I'll refill. Okay, so let me also share with you a quick tip on operating the Trangia 27 stove when it comes to a lighting and setting up the burner. Uh, really quick trick is instead of, uh, especially on cold days where method is a little bit harder to, uh, harder to light, instead of lighting it over the top, if you just pop it on the side, it also heat up the method a little bit and then uh, it's a little bit easier to light. So it's not too hot today, but that's a really quick uh, trick which will help ignite the methyl on cold days. Uh, also, don't put on the windshield until you put the burner in, or actually, you know, you're kind of awkwardly uh, dropping the burner in, and you might uh, quite easily burn yourself. So, light it, put it on, and then just, you can pop the windshield over the top quite, quite uh, easily without too much fuss. Okay, so we have our kettle here. I'm gonna pour in our 250 mils of water into the kettle. Okay, so there's our first slot, and I'll just go fill up the second one. I did measure this cup out in case you are wondering, so it's not, you know, exactly to the mill, but more or less it is 500 mils, and uh, above all, it's two cups of water. I mean, boil uh, tea or coffee for two. Alright, so on goes the lid. I'm going to give the burner another 30 seconds or so just to heat up. Have a look how it looks. There we go. So, especially on cold days, the method takes a little bit longer to light, which is a bit of a disadvantage, but one of the very few disadvantages of the method burner. Plus, you're out camping, where are you in a hurry to? Okay, so it looks about ready to go. I've got my stopwatch here. So we will set it up. Alright. And three, two, one, kettle's on. And time is running. Alright, we'll pop that over to the side. Let it run. And see how long it takes to boil two cups of reasonably cold water. Alright, so we have just under 8 minutes and the kettle is well and truly boiling now. And there we go, so cold tap water, more or less uh, like you would get from uh, the river. Um, two cups worth, takes more or less about 8 minutes to get boiling on the Trangier. So there we have it. Now yes, it takes a, a little bit of time. But, like I mentioned earlier, where you are uh, in a hurry when you're out camping. And uh, also because this, this whole system is so stable, you know, wind, you, you're not afraid that wind's going to blow it over or um, that it's going to have a failure of any sort. And, you know, what worst comes to worst, uh, you run out of fuel, the, the fire goes out. But apart from that, it, it's very reliable, very, very stable. So, you know, what, what's the worst that can happen? You know, the, the fire goes out, so you find yourself a camping spot, you set up your Trangia stove uh, to the side, uh, you, you know, you, you, you pop two cups of water in there, you light it, and then you go set up your tent and, and everything, or collect some firewood or whatever you have to do. M meanwhile, you've got some water boiling ready for some uh, tea or coffee or for dinner, so 
you know, it does take eight minutes. It's certainly not like a jet boil, but because of its stability, reliability, and ease of use, ease of use, uh, you can let it go while you're doing other tasks without any any types of problems. So uh, either way, let's. Uh, I'll put this out. I'll let it cool down, and we'll set up the same test with the gas burner, so I can show you how long that takes. Remember when you're putting it out with the simmering, um, not the one which has the rubber seal. Okay, or else that rubber seal won't last. Cool. That's that. Let everything cool down. All right, so everything's cooled. Well, the kettle's cooled right down, and we're going to set up the gas conversion kit now and repeat the test. Off and running. Alright, so we are pretty much bang on three minutes, and as you can see, we are now boiling. So let's turn this sucker off. Alright, so once again, there's the time. And we've got our two cups of water, so a little bit less than uh, half the time that it took the metal burner. Ooh, that's quite hot. Might use my little. Right there, a uh, little bit uh, less than half the time, or three minutes instead of eight, that it took the metro to go. So as you can see, it's a uh, it's a much faster system. It does produce a little bit more noise, and uh, you know you you do have a, a fuel bottle, so uh, it depends what you're after at the end of the day. Look, I like the metro because again, it's 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 cheap, it's quiet, it's easy to use, it's safe. But don't get me wrong, I use the gas as well. If you are in a hurry, if you really want to cook some food, because this has got that excellent temperature control, then the gas setup is the setup for you. But if you're just out for a cruisy camping trip, then uh, you can't go wrong with metho, in my opinion. And like I said in my other video, it, it doubles up to help light fires, especially if it's uh, cold, damp, and rainy, things like that. Sprinkle a bit, pour a little bit of metho on the, on the kindling. It makes life a little bit easier. But there you have it. There's the uh, end of the test, boiling two cups of water, cold water from the tap, uh, just like you would get pretty much from a river. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed.